Hi, I'm Leah. I'm from the Community Impact Team here in North Reading. I'm the project coordinator for the recent Drug-Free Communities grant that the town just got. I'm here with Hannah Lidotis today, who, are, who is our guest. She recently graduated from North Reading High School and will be going to UMass this fall for equine management. And she's here to talk about her involvement with the school and some of the organizations that she's also volunteering in. So welcome, Hannah. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here today. Uh, so would you just start out by telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, so I'm almost 19. I'm going okay. to be a freshman at UMass Amherst. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, I'm studying equine management. Mm -hmm. So my ultimate goal is to own my own horse farm one day. Yeah. I love the idea of teaching lessons, mm -hmm. hippotherapy, so helping okay. children with special needs ride. That's exciting. And really, it helps a lot of people like with PTSD sure. or even recovery programs. Uh -huh. Yeah, horses. that's great. I know there's a lot of programs and stuff I have looked at. I've seen some of those barns. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's so much fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's exciting work. I bet it's rewarding too. It is, so, yeah. yeah. It's well, all the things I love combined. <laughs> oh, that's great. So it sounds like it's right up your alley for, exactly. for that. Well, perfect. Um, and so I know you've done a lot of volunteer work with the CIT, um, the Community Impact Team. Mm -hmm. So would you mind just telling us a little bit about your involvement, um, whether they were school organizations or like the CIT or um, whatever, you know, volunteer work you've done in the past? Yeah. So. Um, Continuing on the horses for yep. a little bit, I yeah. volunteered at a hippotherapy program at my barn for okay. about five years. Oh, wow. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh -huh. um, and then my sophomore year is when I met um, Miss Claudia Brown, who yes. was the health teacher mm -hmm. until She's this great. year at mm -hmm. the high school. Yep. And um, at the end of my health curriculum mm -hmm. we had to do a health advocacy project okay and that's what really sparked um, my desire to help out with the mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. um, so my project it's an open-ended so I had to create it oh. all by myself wow that must have been a lot, of, a lot of work it was but I mean it was a lot of fun um, mm -hmm. I actually used the 2013 youth risk behavior survey yep. okay. for all my stats uh -huh. Um, and I created a PowerPoint and I gave it to several um, eighth grade, you know, incoming freshman classes uh -huh. just on um, trying to teach them that there are going to be a lot of different and risky behaviors sure. in high school mm -hmm. and just that, you know, not everyone is doing these behaviors and really trying to make them aware of right. how they can have a healthy high school career. That's great. And it's from that that Ms. Brown introduced me to SAD. Okay. Um, as well as CIT. Okay. So, yeah. And um, mm -hmm. just in case our viewers don't know, what does SAD stand for? It stands for Students Against Destructive Decisions. Okay. My parents used to know it as Students Against Drunk Driving. Yes. They changed yep. it. Okay. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> and uh, what kind of activities do you do with SAD? So we met um, bi-monthly okay. and we try and first help our school. Mm -hmm. So we did events like uh, Spike Ball mm -hmm. to raise money for our big project, which is the mock car accident, which oh, we did this past year. Yes, spring. yep, okay. Yeah. Um, we also did events recently. We helped out with Project Linus, mm -hmm. where we made blankets mm -hmm. for children that the police would encounter. Mm -hmm. That's a great uh, organization. And yeah, thing that they and do. it's so easy to volunteer mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and aren't, and correct me if I'm wrong, but weren't you the president of SAD this year? Or this you year, had yeah. A, okay, Junior that's a year, pretty I was big vice honor. President uh -huh. and this year, president. That's exciting. Yeah. That's cool. So, all right. Um, and then, I'm sorry, were you, have you been in SAD all four years or? No, actually, um, just junior and senior Okay, year. that's still great. That's yeah. awesome. So, and then you, you were the president already, so. Yeah. That's cool. It was really rewarding. A lot I bet. of work, but it was yeah. good. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, so, and I know you just mentioned a little bit about Claudia Brown, but how did you get into these organizations ultimately, or how did you hear about them with SAD and then CIT? How, did they just kind of come up or, and then what drew you to volunteering with them? Um, yeah, I mean, it honestly was Miss Brown. Okay. Um, we became really close just having her as a teacher. Mm -hmm. That's how I met her. Sure. Um, and then at the end of uh, my sophomore year, mm -hmm. after the health presentation, mm -hmm. um, she said that she would love to have me in oh, SAD, um, specifically nice. the vice president. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah. And then she mentioned that um, the community impact team was yes. looking for a high school representative and she thought I would fit the bill. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have too. So it's Thank been great. You. Thank you for volunteering with us. It's It's been nice having you. Thank so. you. We'll miss you. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, is going on and get, getting involved as a community. So it's yeah. always helpful from you yeah. guys. Um, okay. And so I know... Um, we were talking about SAD and the CIT, but and you had mentioned some of the activities. But what are some of the activities that you've done with the CIT coalition? 
Um, so we've had various presentations mm -hmm. come. Uh, the recent one was John Morello, I think, was at the high school. Yep, and we had a Ruth, Ruth Pote yeah. also. Yep. So, those so were I've helped out on a few of those tables, like okay. handing out information yep. and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and then I do a lot with Amy Luckowitz, of mm -hmm. course. Um, sure. So then it's through her that I've done things like Ryla, uh -huh. um, and how I've also become the social media coordinator yes. for CIT. Yep. So okay. it's through that grant that we got that right. I got that position, and it's been really cool working the Facebook for the group. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about the social media coordinator position? Sure. Okay. So I mainly um, start off locally. Mm -hmm. um, I try and find stories on the patch, mm -hmm. um, really any sort of um, substance abuse news or, yeah. you know, hopefully programs that mm -hmm. are coming up for prevention. Okay. Yep. And then if I can't find anything there, which is... Honestly, a good thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I look at a wider scope, so like statewide, if there's been any mm -hmm. legislature passed or something okay. like that. All right. So it sounds like you do a lot of research. Have you been learning a lot of stuff then about new trends yeah. or drugs that are coming out? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, uh, at a 90th birthday party, met someone who's working uh -huh. in pharmaceuticals on um, okay. a drug for um, people suffering from opioid addiction oh, that okay. like, stops them from getting the high. Oh, wow. So it's just a whole new world that I didn't know existed, sure. but it's, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of information out yeah. there. So, okay. Well, great. Um, and so what would you say, what activity, it's, you know, through SAD, CIT, even social media coordinator, what would you say is probably the most fun, that, fun activity you've done? Um, I definitely enjoyed leading the SAD meetings. Okay. That was always fun. Okay. Um, my junior year, mm -hmm. um, Amy and I actually took my sophomore project uh -huh. and added more relevant statistics to it and okay. then brought it to another four eighth grade classes oh, and wow. we presented it um, with facts from Dr. Richard Falzone yes. as well mm -hmm. as the New Zealand Dunedin study. Mm -hmm. um, so that was actually a lot of fun. It was oh, one great. of my favorite memories. Wow. All right. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, you've definitely done a lot of stuff. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, and so I know you're going to college in the fall. Mm -hmm. That's exciting, UMass. What are you most looking forward to? Um, well, I'm bringing my horse, uh -huh. which is not something That's exciting. everyone can do, mm -hmm. um, which will be a lot of fun. Yeah. I'll never live that close to him. Sure, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've looked at my schedule, mm -hmm. and it's finally classes that, you know, I'm really interested mm -hmm. in. It's a pretty specific major. That's great. Um, yeah, I'll be living on my own for the first time with yes. my mate. Um, so yeah, it's That's really exciting. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, do you have any plans to join any clubs or organizations at UMass while you're out there? Yeah, definitely. Um, I have a pretty busy schedule so far, sure. but um, the weekends obviously are open mm -hmm. and I've seen clubs similar to the high school interact program mm -hmm. um, based on community service, which I'd really like to do. Nice. And then okay. yeah, if there isn't one like sad, maybe uh -huh. I'll try and start one. <laughs> That's great. Good for you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, those are all the questions I have for you today. Um, was there anything else you wanted to add to our view for our viewers today or? Um, I'm just really happy that I've been selected to be on this committee mm -hmm. for two years now. Yeah. And it's been We love really having you. So <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and again, I just wanted to remind our viewers that commu the Community Impact Team um, were able to help people find resources regarding substance use or any other kind of, you know, issues with youth. Um, and the number is 978-357. 5281 if you did want to reach out and get some resources or help. And we also have an email address, which is coalition at northreadingma.gov. So again, that's for the North Reading Youth Services. If, if you have any questions or need some information, we're happy to help. Um, and again, thank you, Hannah, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Thanks.